So if you already got your Etsy shop set up, the next thing you want to do is to enable the video. And it should be easy for you to do this. The only thing you need to do is to go down to any listing that you want to feature the video in. Press over here. Then go where it says the edit button. And then all you have to do is just to scroll down and there's going to be a video section that should actually be included over here. And this is actually should be featured in almost any shop right now. So that is a very cool thing that you can add. And there is a few rules that you have to do here. One, the video has to be less than 100 megabyte. The next thing, it has to be 1080 or higher resolution. And lastly, it has to be less than 15 seconds and no more than 5 seconds. If you go ahead and make something less than 5 seconds or over 15 seconds, it's just not going to upload. The next thing I want to show you is the actual videos that I have created for Etsy. And after that, I'm going to go into and show you how I'm actually making those videos. So you can see the behind the scenes tour of me actually in my studio making the videos for all my Etsy listings. So I made a few videos for a few of my listings that I have posted up. Now, the more listings you put the video on, the more visibility you're going to be getting and the more likely somebody is going to buy your product. So here is one product that I have created. And you can see here that when you press on the second one right here, there is a video thing. And as you press on it, it automatically shows the actual product. The great thing about this, you can actually see it in 3D and the way I made this, it's actually moving as if it is just moving all around in a 360 degree direction. So you get to see everything about this specific product. In this one right here, when I pressed on it, there was actually a mistake that I made. I don't know if you can spot this. The mistake was I filmed this the wrong way. And by filming it on the side, there is black on both sides. This is not the correct way to do this. So when you're doing this, do not do something like this. You can see over here, I'm actually showing it as it moving. I'm trying to do a 360 over here. This is before I figured out how to do this. And you will see in my videos how I go ahead and create some of those things. And in this one, the biggest mistake was after I did this not correctly. After that, there was the second mistake where I went overhead to showcase and I'm not showing it right in the front. So this video should be scraped. It is just not good. And in this one, I did a different kind of a video for those objects over here. So those are dog noses and a zombie version of it. And after a few takes, I was able to create this one. And I think this is actually the best looking for this kind of a product. So in this video, I'm going to be talking about how to do Etsy videos. And right now we can do 15 second commercial to showcase your product. And this is the essentials you actually need. Pretty much any kind of a board that you can use for the background. And I have one on the floor here. I got this at Home Depot. Cost was 20 for this one. Same cost for this one as well. You also need some kind of overhead light to shine from the top. And this is what I'm using right now. So those are kind of maybe I've told you box for those big lights over there. Not too expensive. And something like this. This is probably cost me another 20 bucks as well. But you can use other kind of lights. It's not necessarily the same exact setup over here. So when you're going to be using an overhead light, I'm going to be shining another light from the actual side to capture even more beautiful image when you're doing this because you can see right here it is a little bit too dark so you want to have some light either coming from the top or from the side or from any direction now you might wonder why I have those things right here well this is primarily to support the light so you're putting this right here and you can put it higher if you want to because I'm doing everything by myself and I need to be able to support all this stuff by myself. So putting this light right here, I can turn it on and I have a side light that I'm using. If this is too high, I'm going to be putting this away and you can use any kind 
of a stand. This is what I'm using right now. It's like super cheap toy right here that I'm using. And I'm putting this right there. So this is pretty much it's gonna write this up and we can do background right, putting it right behind the camera and it's gonna make it look very good. Take a look at the difference. Turn it off, turn it on. Which one looks better in your opinion? Now next thing you also want to do is to position your camera and we're going to be doing videos with a tripod now this specific tripod is super cheap this is i think a 12 dollar tripod and what i like the most about is that it goes down like this now there is a reason why i have my phone right next to me as well the reason why i have my phone is that you don't have to use this for videos you can just use your iPhone if you have an iPhone or any kind of a smartphone and you can do the same exact thing the only issue with the phone you can see it doesn't hold it's gonna fall down so you need some kind of a tripod or stabilizer for the actual phone and this will have to be manually you actually have to put this on press on your finger and the problem with the iPhone is that you have to press on your finger in order for you to get this to work because otherwise it's not recording this is for the older version of the phone maybe the new one doesn't have this issue you just press on it and it starts to record it as you go about and do it so you, you don't really need a tripod for this so what you're doing here if you're going to be doing with the phone actually going to be focusing on the image pressing on this and holding it without moving it that is the key so for you to hold it without move it you need some kind of a surface for you to use and this one would be just fine then when you find exactly where you want it to be that's when you press on go now the next thing you want to do is to move the actual object around and I will actually use this instead because I want to use the professional camera to do this than the phone so I'm gonna to have to turn this on and you want to move this to the actually the video setting because that's the best one it's gonna give us the best quality and the next thing I'm gonna be doing is just pressing on this which is gonna be the record button and we have only 15 seconds to go so we want to see one thing about here first I want to make sure that it captures the bottom you can see the bottom is getting cut off here moving it down all the way right here zooming this in and now we have exactly how I want it to actually be set up at now that I have it at exactly how I want it to set up remember it's not going to capture any noise and that's the good thing about this is that Etsy is not going to let you do it you're just going to be pressing on this button right here and as you press on it it's going to start recording so we're going to go press on record and now what you're going to be doing as you're recording you're going to be moving the object around pretty simple and that's all you're doing now this is actually done without the lights on so there's a big difference between the lights on and them being off. So here it is, the light is right here. I'm going to be turning it on. Now you can see what a difference this is. This looks really different with the light just shining right under it. There we go. Now I'm going to do this once again. Press on record and the same exact thing that I'm doing here I'm just moving it around and now this actually looks pretty awesome in my opinion and you only have 15 seconds and that's it you're done now since this video was a little longer than 15 seconds it's totally okay for you to go over the time because what you have to do is you have to edit it out pretty much 
anything over 15 seconds is just too much so here is the second one what I'm going to be doing is zooming in unfortunately this one lacks the ability for you to move everything around so this is a very cheap tripod I do suggest for you to get a more expensive one but it still does all the job for you so once we set this up and this is like a small animal we want to make sure everything is lined up and is perfect for the shot so any mistake anything wrong you want to make sure you take care of it before you start shooting once you have everything set up in the way you want it to you press on record now we're going to be using moving this around and you can see how I'm doing it over here just moving it around so you can see all the different angles and then we are waiting for the 15 seconds to go in and then turn it off for the biggest object here this is going to be way more tricky you can see here gotta zoom all the way out and pretty much this one is just going to be um, it could be done but you really need to work your way to get this to really be the way you want it to be there we go and moving this around now we're going to be zooming zooming more in because that's basically all we can actually do here because it's just this object is just way too big for this video so you might actually encounter an object that might be a little too big and the solution for that is to go all the way handhold well I'm going to be hand holding this and then I'm going to go through it just like that and going up and down so I'm going to capture 15 seconds of it using this specific method so regardless of the object you're going to be using every single object is going to be done different and yet when I have the best 15 seconds this is what I'm going to be showcasing for anybody who is a prospective buyer of those products